Being that we haven't had much of a winter, it might be a good time to brush up on your winter driving skills. Here are some tips to help you prepare for driving during a snowstorm. The first thing you should do is stay home if you can. If you can't stay home, let other people know what your destination is going to be and your estimated time of arrival. Next, you should make sure that your cell phone battery is charged. Make sure you have blankets, gloves, a hat, food, water, and any needed medication in your vehicle. Make sure you keep your gas tank at least half full. Never use cruise control while driving on any slippery surface. Be gentle with your accelerator and your braking while driving in slippery conditions. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration advises that you should not crowd a snowplow or travel beside the truck. Snowplows travel slowly, make wide turns, and often overlap lanes and exit the roadway frequently. If you find yourself behind a snowplow, stay far enough behind it. We can't help you, um, number one, without saying it too bluntly if you're in our way. Um, the most important thing is give us room, give us room to operate, do what we want to do. Um, you know, we, we're driving trucks uh, that are going down the road. I mean, they're, they're huge, they're massive, and they have a job to do. And the most important thing is give them the ability to do their job. Uh, let us get out in front of you. We're not going to travel any more than probably 35 miles an hour, so you're going to be behind us. You're going to get upset. Do not try to pass us. Uh, we're putting material down on the road. We're scraping the roads, and we're doing the best that we can to make the roads safe for you. We went to the Walk Hill Highway Department garage to talk to two men who have a lot of experience getting roads cleared for safer driving during a snowstorm. We have 15 trucks, big trucks, that go out every storm, um, four mason dumps, and probably about 10 pickups that go out and plow every storm. How many tons of salt do you think you go through on a typical storm, on average? A typical storm, we probably go through probably between five and 600 tons of salt. In a year's time, we usually go through about 6,000 tons of salt. Basically, depending on the weather, really. We've got a great group of ladies and gentlemen um, that do this work every day. They're professionals. They take it very professionally. And their goal is to make, uh, to make the roads and make the town safe for you know, our residents, our businesses, and everybody that comes to the town. And uh, that's our goal, and we, I think we do a darn good job doing it.